Amigos de Web TV, bienvenidos una vez más a la Universidad Continental. Estamos disfrutando ya de la quinta edición del Congreso de Aplicaciones de Tecnologías e Información y Comunicaciones Avanzadas Ática 2013. Acaba de exponer el doctor Marku Karhu, que viene desde Finlandia para compartir con nosotros el tema Estudios sobre estándares relacionados a objetos de aprendizaje. Vamos a darle la bienvenida y, por supuesto, conversar sobre este tema. Doctor Marku, welcome to Peru and welcome to Continental University. Thank you. How do you feel? This, is this your first time in Huancayo? This is first time even in Peru, mm -hmm. but the whole country is very wonderful. Oh, really? I like this. What do you like most about here? Most, uh, okay, first of all I like mountains. This is high place and we have sun here and all of your nature is so wonderful. So you are going to stay here until Saturday, so you will have time to enjoy this place. Unfortunately not long, I would like to have a <laughs> vacation here. Maybe for the next time. Next time so I'll let's talk you. about your topic. You were talking about learning objects, but first of all, uh, let's know about what is a learning object. Learning object is just a piece of learning process. It could be different uh, type of piece of learning. It could be text, it could be video, it could be... It's like a chapter in a book, mm -hmm. but learning object could have many different medias. It's like the minimum part of a system that could let us uh, learn, right? It's like yeah, yes, a small piece. <laughs> small piece and then the idea is for a different learning object you collect and build a course that is delivered to the students either in a classroom teaching, mm -hmm. but it can be delivered in online systems as well. In virtual campus specifically, uh, what are these objects? We are talking about audio, video, what else? Audio, video, then of course text-based is quite important if we especially think uh, learning. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we have very uh, strong tradition to express our information in the form of text. Mm -hmm. But it could be some kind of crafts as well, or drawings, mm -hmm. okay. piece of music, if we go outside the uh, uh, technological uh, studies or engineering studies. Mm -hmm. Everything that conforms the virtual platform. But uh, even we are fami familiarized with some of them, we need to know that there are specific standards that we need to follow, right? In order to give uh, uh, education of quality. Yes, if, if we think to put together or collect some course that is delivered at university, we, we must, uh, the learning object must meet some requirements and, and uh, interfaces so that it makes sense to put together them mm -hmm. and produce the whole course then. Which are these standards? Standards actually are uh, concerning the content and interfaces between learning objects, but mm -hmm. also how they are processed, how they are built. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind of usability issues should be taken in account? Learning object, the idea of learning object comes from the fact also that if some learner has special needs, then some standard learning object can be replaced by another according to the needs of a learner. And it gives good flexibility to build the course content that matches exactly to the needs of a uh, learner. Uh, you mentioned uh, ac accessibility, us usability and also flexibility, right? So it is so important, especially when we are talking about inclusive education, right? Because yes. we need to think in a special platform in order to bring uh, all the information to people with uh, a kind of discapacity. Yes, it's, it's uh, very important, but I have to say that so far we are not very far 
in in the per process to develop good uh, good amount of learning objects. Mm -hmm. So so the idea behind that is learning object is good, every everybody agrees, but then to implement learning object in a way that they are reusable to different to be used reused in different courses is challenging. Mm -hmm. Now when we talk about standards we think oh my gosh it it will be hard to achieve is it hard to achieve is it hard to follow from the companies or the organizations that wants to give education of quality uh, standardization process is quite heavy process meaning that uh, different uh, actors academia academia uh, then uh, commercial companies because they are quite often involved in, in the form of uh, devices, in the form of uh, technologies, should agree how to build. Mm -hmm. And quite often it happens that before standards, there are so-called de facto standards, which are not approved by the standardization organization yet. Mm -hmm. But some company has been fast in developing their own uh, products and if they have a global um, global uh, usage, so everybody use, and then the standardization is more or less agreeing what the company has done. Yeah, but but, but if we think education sector, so we do not have yet global mm -hmm. companies who would do this so, this. Mm -hmm. uh, a fundamental task. There is no one that established for education yet. No, no, be okay. because it's so shared and all of universities, academias are so small or not not, not having such a, a global power so as, as Microsoft might have. It will be a good idea that they associate and put the rules on on, on the table, right? De defi definitely, definitely it would be. Okay. But, but uh, now it seems that uh, uh, some US-based big universities like MIT with their EDX system mm -hmm. and then Coursera from, uh, studied from California are uh, playing a big role. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see how big role they'll have in the future. So will they build the de facto standards for learning object in their own applications mm -hmm. and then all our universities globally will use uh, the work they have done and uh, which has appeared as an informal standard. So, of course, this is an important topic to follow and develop. It is a work for the universities and all the education associations to put the rules on the table and create the standards in order to bring quality to all the people who wants to access to education. It was a really nice to talk to you, Dr. Marcus. So we hope we can have you again for the next time. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.